So women are increasingly toxic, and that is something that was not fashionable to say, definitely not fashionable to say over the last 10 years as we've moved toward this female power mirage. I call it a mirage because females have had power, obviously, over the last two decades. We've had more than just a little bit of power. I believe that we are fully existing under a matriarchy, and I've made that argument to you guys many times in the past. And uh, elements of the matriarchy is destroying things that are traditional destroying things that work, and in the end, destroying things that actually make women happy, aspiring to marriage, aspiring to family, looking down on that with your nose. Oh my gosh, don't you just want to be a free woman? You don't need no man. Where are my single ladies at? We all know the dance. We all know the song. It was a great song, by the way. Just probably should mention that uh, Beyonce wasn't a single lady when she wrote it. That's what I love about Beyonce. She makes all of this music. It's super catchy and it's amazing. And women feel empowered by it. But the truth is, is that she's in a very traditional relationship with her husband. So, you know, she teaches others to do what she's not doing herself because she wants to be fulfilled. She's happy in a relationship. Well, I'm bringing this up right now because a woman who I wasn't familiar with, her name is Samantha Lee, went on a podcast that I'm not familiar with called the Hardly Initiated Podcast. And she was talking about her three-year marriage to an R&B singer who I used to listen to very much when I was growing up named Tyrese Gibson. So they were only married for three years and then their marriage fell apart. And then they spent the next two years getting divorced. Apparently, it was an ugly situation. Now she's reflecting on that, and she has a little bit of regret. Take a listen. If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision, no. I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Women specifically, the there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And we're just focusing on these things. You don't have a certain um, person in your life to say, to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? That can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. In those moments, you need somebody to be the, the person for that person. Now, obviously, this is not an overtly political podcast that you're listening to. It's probably not political at all, but it made me think about politics because I always talk about, always speak about really what happens if you follow liberal ideologies, right? If you buy into feminism when you're young and it carries on for too long. And I, what she's talking about, I know exactly what climate she's speaking of. It is women when they get toxic and they are with one another and they think that their life is going to live forever, that they need to aspire to be by themselves, that climb you know, the career ladder, that the aspiration shouldn't be family, it should be being bad all by yourself. You got it, you got money in the bank, you don't need no man. And these are the sorts of women that were in her tribe. I'm going to guess largely liberal women who were listening to the liberal messaging that's coming from the mainstream media. So rather than her working on her marriage, I mean, three years, she should be in the honeymoon phase. She was listening to her girlfriends who are making her feel empowered. She's in her 20s and basically telling her, you don't need a man. And of course, the difference between your life and your prospects from your 20s as a young woman then when you turn the chapter and go into your 30s, it's dramatic. The differences are quite dramatic. And I try to explain this to the young women that listen to me. I get it. I was in my 20s too. You feel like every day is so long, you're going to be young forever, and you don't have to focus on those sorts of things. But 30 will smack you in the face. It's a different ballgame, totally different ballgame. And you know, there's this call to settle down and to have a family. And now that she's in her early 30s, she's recognizing that she achieved that and then turned it down. Now, Tyrese Gibson saw this clip making the rounds and he responded to it. Take a listen to what he had to say. And you packed up a one-year-old, put a COVID mask on top of the rain cameras, and I was literally in an airplane on my way home to fight for my marriage and my family. You're heartless. So obviously you can sense a little bit of animosity there. He certainly hasn't forgiven her. Who would if that's really what happened? He goes on to talk about how 
they were not in an abusive relationship. There was nothing there that would make her want to pack up everything and put a COVID mask on a camera and leave with his one-year-old child, other than the fact that she had women in her ear, other than the fact that she was likely poisoned by culture to believe that this was her moment. This was her Beyonce music video moment, and she was going to show how she could do bad all by herself. You know, there's a lesson there. There really is, and there, it's, it's one that I talk about all the time, uh, that I speak about all the time, rather, when I speak to young women on these college campuses. Pay attention to these cultural examples. Pay attention to the women that make you feel empowered when you're listening to their music. You know, Taylor Swift, everybody loves Taylor Swift except for me. Um, Beyonce, everybody loves Beyonce. And then actually focus on their lives and see whether or not their music is reflecting their lives. And if it is reflecting their lives, is it reflecting their lives in a positive manner, right? When you look at them, do you actually believe that these individuals are happy and whether they're whole? I understand that they're wealthy, right? I understand that you can earn a lot of money because young women like to hear these sorts of tunes. But if it's conditioning you to believe that freedom is somehow going to render you happier, you are going to be sorely mistaken as you get older, right? Because actually it's discipline that renders you freer, right? It's doing the same thing day in and day out, putting the work where you are, watering the grass where you stand, that is going to make you happier in the future. So I just wanted to make sure that all the young women were paying attention to that because it's an important cultural story, an important cultural message, and that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, if you liked this video, you are definitely going to like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.